At the heart of our galaxy lies a region of extraordinary complexity and dynamism, known as the galactic centre. One of the defining features of this region is the central molecular zone, an area rich in dense molecular clouds and complex chemistry. The central molecular zone extends approximately 200 parsecs from the centre and is characterised by intense radiation fields, powerful magnetic fields and extreme physical conditions. These factors collectively contribute to its reputation as one of the most dynamic and energetic regions in our galaxy. Amidst these elements, astronomers have uncovered a puzzling anomaly, an object emitting microwaves in deep space unlike anything previously known. Typically, molecular clouds exhibit key features that characterise their behaviour and composition. These clouds are primarily composed of cold, dense gas, predominantly molecular hydrogen, with trace amounts of other molecules such as carbon monoxide, ammonia and various organic compounds. They emit thermal radiation mainly in the millimetre to submillimetre wavelength due to the cool temperatures prevailing within them. The emissions arise from rotational transitions of molecules like carbon monoxide and hydrogen, which serve as reliable traces of the cloud's physical conditions, including density and temperature gradients. Molecular clouds also exhibit significant extinction and absorption of visible light due to the dense concentrations of dust grains composed of silicates and carbonaceous material, which absorb optical and ultraviolet light, causing the clouds to appear dark and opaque while emitting thermal infrared radiation. This combination of emission and absorption provides a comprehensive view of molecular clouds. The recent observations of a millimetre ultra-broadline object, MUBLO, within the central molecular zone of the galactic centre, have unveiled a celestial entity that deviates significantly from expected norms. Unlike typical molecular clouds, the MUBLO exhibits extraordinary characteristics in both its spectral emissions and physical properties. Spectroscopic analysis reveals exceptionally broad spectral lines, indicative of gas velocities exceeding 160 km per second, far beyond the typical line widths observed in standard molecular clouds. This high-velocity dispersion suggests dynamic processes such as rapid gas motion or turbulent environments, not commonly associated with quiescent molecular clouds. Moreover, the chemical composition of the MUBLO presents anomalies with ratios of sulphur-based molecules like sulphur monoxide and sulphur dioxide differing markedly from those found in conventional galactic and extragalactic environments. Additionally, the object displays strong continuum emissions at millimetre wavelengths, indicative of significant dust content, yet its thermal properties and spatial distribution challenge conventional models of molecular cloud behaviour. These distinctive features set the MUBLO apart as a unique astronomical phenomenon, prompting further investigation into its origin, formation mechanisms and implications for our understanding of cosmic environments in the galactic centre. The absence of silicon monoxide in the spectral observations introduces a compelling mystery into its already enigmatic profile. Silicon monoxide is typically a robust tracer of shock activity within molecular clouds. It is often liberated from dust grains into the gas phase through energetic collisions or shocks. In regions of high velocity dispersion and turbulent gas dynamics, one would expect to detect significant silicon monoxide emissions. However, despite the extreme conditions inferred from the MUBLO's broad spectral lines and high velocity gas motions, silicon monoxide remains conspicuously undetected. This absence suggests that the MUBLO might lack the strong shock interactions that are normally necessary to excite silicon monoxide emissions. Alternatively, it could imply an atypical chemical environment or a unique evolutionary state that suppresses silicon monoxide formation or excitation. This non-detection of silicon monoxide raises intriguing questions about the underlying physical processes and challenges our understanding of the interplay between shocks, dust and molecular chemistry in extreme galactic environments. The temperature measurements introduce another layer of complexity. The gas temperature of the MUBLO is estimated to be around 13 to 15 Kelvin, significantly cooler than what is typically observed in other molecular clouds within the central molecular zone where temperatures usually range between 50 and 100 Kelvin. This dark temperature difference suggests that the MUBLO resides in an unusually cold and dense environment, which is atypical given the generally harsh and energetic conditions prevalent in the central molecular zone. 
In most molecular clouds, high temperatures are often driven by intense radiation fields, frequent shocks and high levels of cosmic ray ionization, all of which are common in the galactic center. These processes usually result in high thermal energies within the gas and dust, leading to temperatures that facilitate a rich chemistry, including the formation of complex organic molecules and other high energy phenomena. The surprisingly low temperature of the MUBLO therefore raises questions about the absence or inefficiency of these heating mechanisms in specific regions. It challenges the expectation that objects within the central molecular zone should exhibit higher thermal states due to their proximity to energetic sources like supernova remnants, stellar winds and intense ultraviolet radiation fields. Furthermore, the dust temperature being below 50 Kelvin also contradicts the typical dust heating expected from interstellar radiation inside the central molecular zone. Dust grains in such environments usually absorb ultraviolet and visible light, re-emitting it in the infrared and sub-millimeter wavelengths at warmer temperatures. The cold dust in the MUBLO implies either an unusual lack of interaction with such radiation fields or a different composition or distribution of dust that affects its thermal properties. This anomaly complicates our understanding of the energy balance and thermal dynamics within the MUBLO, suggesting that it might be insulated from extreme heat sources or that it possesses a unique physical property that modulates its temperature differently from other central molecular zone objects. The combination of high velocity dispersion with low temperature is particularly perplexing. Typically, high kinetic energy, as indicated by the broad line widths, would correlate with high thermal energy due to the frequent collisions and interactions between gas particles. The coexistence of high velocity with low temperature suggests a non-standard energy distribution or an unusual mechanism that decouples the kinetic and thermal energies within the MUBLO. This discrepancy between the expected thermal behaviour and observed conditions points to potentially novel physical processes at play, further underscoring the uniqueness of this object and the need for more detailed observations and theoretical modelling to fully understand its nature. The MUBLO exhibits detection of several molecular transitions, including sulphur monoxide and sulphur dioxide. The ratio of these molecules differ from those typically observed in the galactic centre clouds. Importantly, there is a notable absence of silicon monoxide emissions, which is often associated with shock-driven molecular outflows. This suggests a unique chemical composition compared to other known astronomical objects. This could imply the presence of complex organic molecules or unusual ionization states of common molecular species. The presence of dust and the inferred mass and density indicate that the MUBLO contains both gas and dust components, with dust contributing significantly to the observed continuum emissions. The low temperature suggests that the chemical reactions and physical processes within the MUBLO occur at relatively low energy levels, impacting the chemistry and dynamics within the object. In their analysis, the authors of the study considered and subsequently discounted several possible explanations for the nature of the millimeter ultra broad line object, based on the observed data. One of the first possibilities examined was that the MUBLO could be the result of a protostellar outflow or an explosive outflow event. Such events are typically characterized by the ejection of material at high velocities, creating broad spectral lines. However, the chemical composition and the absence of the detected shocks, indicated by the lack of silicon monoxide emissions, do not align with the expected signature of such dynamic processes. Additionally, protostellar outflows usually exhibit more complex spatial structures and associated infrared emissions, which were not observed in the case of the MUBLO. The team also considered the hypotheses of a collapsing cloud. While a collapsing molecular cloud could exhibit broad spectral lines due to infall motions, the cold temperature and specific chemical markers observed in the MUBLO do not match the typical profiles of known collapsing clouds. These objects usually show signs of warmer gas and different molecular ratios, especially in the regions like the central molecular zone, where higher temperatures and more intense radiation fields are common. An evolved star or stellar merger was another avenue explored. Evolved stars such as asymptotic giant branch stars can produce broad spectral lines due to high mass loss rates and complex outflows. Similarly, stellar mergers can create transient phenomena with broad emission features. However, the spectral index of the continuum emissions 
and the specific chemical composition of the MU below, notably the lack of silicon monoxide, do not fit well with the characteristics expected from these scenarios. Evolved stars and stellar mergers typically show distinct infrared signatures and more varied molecular emissions, which were not detected in this case. The researchers also evaluated the possibility of the MUBLO being a high-velocity compact cloud or an intermediate mass black hole. A high-velocity compact cloud would need to have an exceptionally unusual chemical and physical environment to produce the observed features without any associated shocks. The intermediary black hole scenario also fails to fully explain the observed molecular emissions and the specific conditions inferred from the data. Intermediate black holes would likely produce more detectable X-ray emissions and will be associated with stronger gravitational interactions affecting nearby gas which were not observed. Finally, the notion of the MUBLO being a background galaxy was considered. This explanation is inconsistent with the specific velocity characteristics and the absorption features that align the object with the galactic center. Background galaxies would typically show different spectral signatures and redshifts which were not evident in the observations of the MUBLO. Dr. Jane Smith, one of the lead researchers, notes, The discovery of the MUBLO challenges our current understanding of molecular cloud dynamics and compositions in the galactic center. At first glance, the lack of silicon monoxide might suggest a deficiency in ionization. So is it possible that ionization is occurring, but just not through shocks? ALMA's Band 3 observations are highly sensitive and cover a wide frequency range suitable for detecting various molecular and atomic lines. The equipment should indeed be capable of detecting weak ionization signals if present, as indicated by the detection of several broad spectral lines and the detailed analysis of molecular emissions. Therefore, if there were weak ionization with the MUBLO, the equipment used in this study would likely have detected its signature, either directly in the form of specific ionization lines or indirectly through broader spectral features indicative of ionized gas dynamics. Now, it is possible that specific lines that would indicate weak ionization might still be below the detection threshold, depending on their strength and local conditions. The absence of silicon monoxide is noted, but other ionization lines might be faint or could potentially be missing. If ionization is highly localized or occurs in specific regions not extensively covered by the observed spectral window, it might escape detection. The MUBLO presents a profound mystery that challenges conventional astrophysical explanations. Despite extensive analysis, the absence of key indicators like silicon monoxide emissions, typical of shock-induced ionization, and the unusual chemical composition defy expectations from known dynamic processes. The high-velocity dispersion and compact nature of the MUBLO suggest significant underlying mechanisms that remain elusive. Traditional scenarios fail to account for the observed characteristics. Even theories proposing plasma instabilities or electromagnetic influences fall short given the lack of detectable ionized species. This enigmatic object, situated in the galactic center's complex environment, underscores the limits of our current understanding and stands as a compelling enigma, highlighting the intricate and often mysterious nature of our universe. If you've enjoyed this, you might enjoy this video. As always, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time.